Hey, morning everybody. Tuesday and uh, still working on budget. Uh, that's a long project. I'll be working on it for a couple of weeks. So working on budget. Budget's just a forecast of what we think we're going to earn, what we think we're going to spend, and what kind of profitability do we think we're going to have at the end of the year. So revenue. I've asked the managers, how much revenue do you think we're going to be able to bring in uh, over the next year by month, by department? What are we going to spend on cost of sales? What are we going to spend on equipment, on materials, on labor, on commissions, subcontractors? And then on the overhead, we have five areas of overhead. What are we going to spend on marketing? I've got Doug helping me with that. What are we going to spend on personnel? The uh, people in the office like me, like dispatch, like the people in the warehouse, uh, the taxes that go um, with payroll. What are we spend on on the buildings, on rents, on uh, utilities, that kind of stuff. What, what are we going to spend on vehicles and the insurance for the vehicles and the, the lease payments and, and the fuel and just administrative stuff. What are we spending on the, all the administrative stuff, all the different things that just go with the, the business, the things we have to buy. Um, and then hopefully there'll be some profit left over the end of the year. So I got a number I want to share with you this morning. And here's the number, $204,040.12. That's how much we've spent in the last 10 months on what? What do you think it is? Payroll taxes, final answer. Doug, that is a good guess. Actually, we spend more than that uh, on payroll taxes. Year to date through October, we have spent $210,000 on payroll taxes. So when you guys spend money on taxes out of your paycheck, we as a company have to match that. And we have spent um, an average of $21,000 a month on taxes. So it's not taxes. I think it is rent. Good guess, Mike. Uh, it is not Rent, rent cost us roughly $17,000 a, a month. So between the four locations, roughly $17,000. Uh, still a big number, but not the $204,000. Let's go to accounting. Accounting, tell me, what do we spend $204,000 year to date on? I know, it's fuel, Larry. <laughs> Michelle, you are absolutely right. Oh yeah, but you pay the bills, so you would know that. $204,040. Uh, in fuel. That's average $20,000 a month. You know, we were doing really good for a while and we're not doing so good right now. Uh, here's a couple of things we can do as a team to try to help keep our fuel costs down. <clears throat> Look for low prices. Okay, don't ever go to a Chevron. Chevron is always high prices. There's guys in Phoenix going to Jackson's uh, car wash and fuel station and it's just too much money. There's people stopping at Pilot on the way out of Lake Havasu. Man, way too much money. There's people filling up their vans in Mead View because they forgot to before they left town, or Seligman, same thing. Uh, guys, you need to fuel your vehicles up before or the end of your day in a place where the price is low. Uh, look for uh, an app in the App Store if you don't already have it called Gas Buddy. Gas Buddy is an awesome app that will help you uh, find the lowest prices around. Look on a map and go, oh, there's a gas station right over here that's only you know, $1.99 for gas. Um, <clears throat> let's try to keep the gas prices down. It will help the company. It'll help you guys. Uh, if we have profit, we can do things. But if we have no profit, we struggle. Uh, don't want to struggle. Want to be successful. Want to make things happen. Guys, help me. Help the company. Uh, help us serve our customers better. Appreciate all you do. Thanks so much. Have an awesome day.